This week's GC unboxing has, I'll admit, got me even more quivery with excitement than usual. As you know, I am a big fan of new tech, and what is inside this box has been causing something of a stir in recent weeks. This is gonna be one seriously exclusive GCN unboxing. And yes, we are still giving away the contents of this box at the end of this video. Because what's in here is the new Mavic Comet shoes. Now, let's get this out of the way early, shall we? These cost $1,000 per pair. That is an expensive pair of shoes whichever way you look at it. I did in fact have a Google, and it turns out that you could buy a pair of Manolo Blahniks for the same price. Now unfortunately, they don't make my size, and they're not really my cup of tea anyway, and I doubt very much that anywhere near as much design, engineering, and R&D goes into those than these Air Mavics. Now aside from the price, this is no ordinary shoe. If it's possible to change shoe design, then Mavic have pretty much done it. And they say that this project actually started right back in 2011, following a request from pro athletes for a shoe with even better power transfer, but without any added weight. So Mavic turned to outside of the cycling industry for inspiration. And then just 200 prototypes later, they have this and they are more than happy that it ticks both of their original boxes, plus a few more, and they say that they've got the research to back it up. The way they've done it is to separate the shoes into two parts. And no, I don't just mean left and right. I mean, they've literally separated each shoe into two parts. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. There we go. A carbon fiber outer, kind of like an exoskeleton that handles all the power transfer and the stability. As you can see, the carbon shell wraps all the way over the side of your foot there. But they kept that super light weight. Now Mavic say they spent a long time dialing in the perfect fit of the carbon and also the thickness of it. And having spent an awfully long time building carbon wheels, they've got a lot of experience of working and also testing it. And one of the areas where that's really apparent is the stack height. So that's the distance between the ball of your foot and the pedal. It's just four and a half millimeters. Now that's tiny. It's also, Mavic say, important. And we'll come on to that in a little bit. Part two of the shoe is this, the inner booty. Now this is designed for hot weather racing or riding in mind. So it's got a stack of ventilation, you can see there. Now, it's made out of a synthetic material, and you'll have noticed, I'm sure, that it was actually pretty difficult to remove it from the carbon shell. And part of that is due to this really high friction outer layer, so the carbon and this integrate into to one entity by the end. It's also got a removable inner sole, and should you wish, you can replace it with a different one from inside your box there. Now this is slightly thicker, so if you were to have a particularly low volume foot, then you'd still be able to get comfortable with the same carbon exoskeleton. So what about that research then? Well, Mavic say there are two parts to the potential performance benefits of using these shoes. Firstly, they were able to measure a significant reduction in calf muscle activity when pedaling. Then from that, they're able to establish that there is a potential lower cost of pedaling, so greater muscular efficiency. And they've attributed that to two things. Firstly, that super low stack height that I've just been talking about, and I did say it was very important. But then also, they've measured an increased ankle movement, 19% in fact, thanks to their 3D image capture software. And they have attributed that due to the fact that you have this really soft upper booty there, and then the carbon fiber is cut really low, so you can literally move your ankle further and with less resistance. In addition, they also worked out that the increased freedom of ankle movement could allow for a fuller pedal stroke. And they actually tested for it and found that subjects could put out over four watts more power at the dead points of the pedal stroke, so top dead center, bottom dead center, compared to their previous shoes. And that was when riding at a steady state of 250 watts on a watt bike. 
Because of this and all the positive feedback that Mavic received from testers, particularly influential actually was Dan Martin of Quick Step Floors, who supposedly said that he feels a greater connection to his bike wearing these shoes than with anything previously, Mavic were moved to actually test for overall performance. So once again, test subjects were asked to ride a watt bike, this time to exhaustion. And they found apparently that 70% of those subjects performed better for wearing these new shoes compared to their old top of the range models. And that was the only thing they changed. It sounds quite incredible. And I can imagine that the skeptics of, among you out there are probably poised with fingers above keyboards ready to type a comment. But before you do, I would just say one thing. Mavic are a company of long standing and they have a reputation for doing things in a very deliberate and considered way. They don't tend to jump on bandwagons, they don't tend to make exaggerated claims. So we are hoping to get a little bit more insight into this testing protocol very soon. But in the meantime, I thought I'd show you something kind of cool. Custom overshoes. Look at that. That's a nice touch. Also in here, a cleaning cloth in a dedicated cleaning cloth pocket. Oh yeah. Well, as I said, we are actually still gonna give these shoes away to one lucky GCN viewer. If you want that to be you, you need to enter the competition. To find out how to enter the competition, well, you just need to listen now, because I'm gonna tell you. In the description below this video, there is a link. Click on that and it will take you straight through to the competition. There, you will answer a simple question and then keep your fingers crossed. And then in the meantime, well, why not subscribe to GCN, first of all, that's very simple. Just click on the globe. And then if you want more content, well, why not click just over there to find out how and when to replace your cleats on your cycling shoes. And then for another cheeky little Mavic innovation, why not go back to Eurobike 2016 to see their new quick release through axle. That's just up there.